tuned for a Matt Armstrong exclusive at Autosport International. How the hell do you look at that and think you can fix it? <laughs> Never done something that bad, I thought, right, I'm going to go for it, I'm repairing. How the hell do you go around starting to fix something like this? Wow! Blue, gold, blue, gold. Welcome to Petrol Edmonds Motor Autosport International. We have some amazing exclusives, especially bringing to you Matt Armstrong's new crash damaged repair that's coming to his channel, as well as a few friends like Scoot, Jack McNeil, Ben from the podcast, Scott Matarossa, Adam C, and a few other friends up on stage this weekend. Stay tuned. So Autosport very much is a Matt Armstrong takeover. Matt's gonna be revealing his crashed project, the next one, so stay tuned for that. But this is epic. We saw this arrive on the back of a transporter when I visited Matt with my new uh, purchase, the Mercy Largo. And um, this was a crash damage 720S from Holland. And Tony just brought it back into the UK on the back of a transport. We pulled up at Mallory Performance, saw this and like, what the hell, the back end over there was absolutely torn away. And I just think Matt is absolutely nuts. I'm a big fan <laughs> with friends, but he's absolutely nuts because he could see how he would fix it. But what he didn't realize was the damage to the carbon fiber tub down here meant that neither McLaren or himself or anybody that we know that works with carbon fiber could fix that because it had literally ripped out the side of the carbon fiber tub. So this is not a restoration. This is not a uh, repair. This is a nut and bolt rebuild of a 720S. If you see Matt's videos, literally the tub has been replaced, which means everything had to come away for it to all be bolted back. And he had a bit of a challenge with uh, Richard Hammond. Here's our specialist. Hello. Where would he have it finished by Christmas? He did have it running and driving by Christmas, but with everything, parts, etc., waiting on things, as well as other projects, it's here today and it looks amazing stripped because you can see the inner workings of a 720S and what, this is probably one of the cars of the show, but we're really looking forward to seeing what his next project is and that's being unveiled later in the video. This was once a crashed Lamborghini Gallardo, but this is looking sweet, but it's when you get to the back, which is where all the action happens. Yes, it's the Matt Armstrong Gallardo, but when you see the workmanship here, the twin, turbo painted orange just to highlight them a little bit but the fabrication work here is absolutely phenomenal and i can tell you right now if this was running it would be spitting flames way past me and probably roast me so we've got the petrol headings of mercirago on the entrance plinth very proud moment but the amazing thing was when they said can we have your mercy they changed the colours of the carpet to match. Black and yellow, baby, black and yellow. We're inside a very special enclosure here where we have some of the world's most amazing race cars. But this one here is the one I really wanted to show you. It's the McLaren Solus. Four million pound buys you a track only special. This is the actual prototype. A customer wanted a Le Mans inspired McLaren. And they built in this one, 25, sold out, four million each. What a car. We absolutely love our good friend Mark McCann's collection 
but this has sadly since Ken's passing become possibly the most valuable vehicle in his collection, the Ken Block legendary Fiesta. To see Mark enjoy this car, drive this car, race the car around the dirt track in his garden is wondrous and see the smile on Mark's face is even better. From Bagsy's amazing GT86 and Navara R to this, Matt Armstrong's next project. Um, it has got some serious damage on it and it's another major project, but I can tell you it's a BMW. I found a small issue with Matt Armstrong 720S. It hasn't got two cup holders, only one. So another very special car that's getting unveiled here at All Sport International is Tommy Music, our good friend Tommy's SF90. Now, this was resale red and Rap Sanctuary have done a full job on this for Auto Sport. Tommy's about to come over and he's going to see it for the first time. Wow, that looks sick. Oh my God. That looks oh yeah, great, great. <laughs> okay. I'm here with the YouTube's favourite dad, my favourite dad, Tony Armstrong's dad. Tony, how the hell do you go around starting to fix something like this? I don't know, Matt, Matt's on about just cutting that bit out there, this bit. Yeah. And then it'll move. That's it, innit? And it'll just move with that. <laughs> Perfect. Sorted. Matt, you're an absolute legend. I love the 720 build. We're going to talk about, I want to ask you basically three questions. The M3. Yep. All right. How the hell do you look at that and think you can fix it? <laughs> I no, don't. You, don't tell that's me Lego. What, that's why, no. It, I look, like, because it looks challenging, that's why I want to do it, because I've never done it before. So that's what like, really like, interests me about how to do it. Like, anything's repairable, it just needs time. So like, that's something that looks so bad that why it interests me, because I've never done something that bad before. Right, I'm going to go for it and repair it. So what categorization has that got? It's not categorised. Oh, really? So the guy wasn't insured. So oh, it never went for insurance. Mad. So no category. So once it's all complete, it should be clean title and it should be as good as new. So it won't even show up on a car vertical search. It wouldn't, no, no. We've Except gone for your underground. channel. That's it, yeah. I've sort of like self snitched. <laughs> so I'll talk about the 720 build. Like that for me is one of the most intriguing builds on your channel because the carbon tub swap out has literally meant a nut and bolt rebuild. Yeah, yeah. It's a special car, right? So yeah, this literally been stripped. We've touched every single nut and bolt on that car. So everything's come off, everything's gone back on again. And it's so close to being done now, I can't wait to drive it. Are there going to be any mods or anything different to the yeah. standard S720S? We need more power. We've Brilliant. got bare wheels. The colour is nuts. So when you see the colour, it's going to be absolutely nuts. Wicked. And then the other thing I want to ask you is because we've talked about it amongst our friends and like people that do what you do, content create, the future of YouTube and the future of Matt Armstrong. You've got to stay on your toes. Like yeah, you're yeah. the biggest growing YouTuber in all the automotive space in the world over the last 18 months. But how do you feel it's going? Like for those that want to get into it, what you know, what, what do you think we can expect? It's it, it's one of like you have to come keep being consistent in it, keep putting out content. We're literally flat out with it. And then we try to make the most out of the content we put out. So we're putting out the main channel content. We're putting out second channel content. We're putting out Spanish channel, German channel. And, uh, and now we've got a gaming channel. We're going to go Mandarin. Yeah, yeah we've got all different <laughs> languages. Um, so we're making the most of the content we can put out. Because I physically, I'm worked to the, my absolute peak now. I can't do any more. I can't put out any more content. So the most, we can make out of what we've got is the best way. So yeah. everyone wants more and more, and we're, we're absolutely peaked out. I know, you're pulling out some real Mr. Beast moves now. <laughs> That's it's, like, it. it's amazing. Is that why, for instance, you mix it up between the supercars, the M3, which is really relatable, like the RS6 video, yeah, with yeah. 10 million plus views. Yeah, it's insane, it's insane, I, yeah. So the cars, again, it's a big mix up. People love the supercars, what gets people talking, and people love them when you see, when you're out on the street, you see a supercar, you turn your head. Something like an M3 and RS6, some people will turn their head, some people don't. But on YouTube, they seem to do a lot better than the supercars. So it's nice to have a little mixture. My final question, how do you decide which ones you keep and which ones you let go? <laughs> um, I decide, I think, when I get to the driving of the cars. So once I drive it and then I realise like, how good the car is, whether it will work for me as a daily, whether it will work for me 
as a track car, whatever it may be, that's when I fall in love with it. Some cars, example, the BMW M5, I thought it was going to be amazing. We did a full rebuild on it. I thought, this, I'm going to keep it. I drove it and it just didn't have that connection with it. And it, it felt, you could do 200 mile an hour in that car and it felt like you're doing 30. And like, it's a fast car, people love them, but it just didn't have what I wanted. <laughs> no, I get that. But even though you've created an army of people that have won your cars now, and that's yeah. just increasing the amount of strong family. And we love it, we've got the GTA 86. Yeah, of course. Sponsor. Matt, lovely to see yeah, you, mate. Keep smashing it. This guy is going places, he's good places, mate. I'm just blown away by your progress. Right, right, mate. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Wow, and that's it for Autosport International 2024. We've got a massive year ahead of us, so stay tuned. Hit like, subscribe, follow the channel, and stay with us as we take you on another journey of petrolism through 2024. Such a mixture of things going on throughout the year, but especially at our events, we hope to see you there. From the team that managed to help me put this on, and everybody at the Monster Stage, and all our friends that joined us, it's out. Thank you.